is the hottest zip code in the U.S. Well, well, well. Yeah. And you know what? I was looking at that, Clark. We're like cities in Ohio. I saw Ohio more than any other state, I think. I'm not surprised. This is the sixth time in the last seven years a central Ohio community has been in the website's top ten. That includes Worthington twice. Wow. They base that on a lot of things. Uh, availability, uh, lifestyle, uh, amenities, uh, price, it, it compared to national average, those kinds of things. There are cities all over. I, I'm serious. I think in the top 50, we have the most uh, most cities. None of the oh. big cities either. They were the smaller cities. I got my revised value of my home from the auditor yesterday. Yeah. Yep. Yikes. It's going to be a painful thing. For yes, it, is, it, is. it sounds good till you have to pay the, tax. pay the taxes, right? Yeah. Uh, the average long-term mortgage rate climbed further above seven percent this week to its highest level since 2001. Of course, these high rates add hundreds of dollars a month in costs for borrowers, limiting how much they can afford. Amy Regal is with the Coalition on Homelessness and Housing in Ohio. She says a nationwide housing shortage and those rising interest rates have put home ownership out of reach for more Ohioans. That squeezes the rental market. So in Ohio, rent is higher than in any year on record. Of 10 jobs that the most people occupy in the state of Ohio, only two of them are paying enough for a person to be able to afford that modest two-bedroom apartment. I wonder if one of them is just or radio news. I don't know, but what are people going to do? I don't know. They say it could take an economic toll on the state. Uh, Regal says a severe shortage of affordable housing can impact those employers coming into the state who need workers. Right. Can't get them because they got no place to live. Senate 95 News brought to you by Ohio Dominican University. Enhance your credentials 100% online at ohiodominican.edu slash online. New Jersey is going to require school districts to offer free menstrual products for grades 6 through 12 under a new law. Under that bill, school districts are required to ensure that students in schools with students from grades 6 through 12 have direct access to menstrual products in at least half of the female and the gender-neutral bathrooms for free. That's good. And a local gal uh, behind the company called Ant Flow was one of the leading people in that charge to get free products into schools. We'll see how so good for her. How many more states adopt laws like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a man accused of vandalizing a North Olmsted woman's patio multiple times is now arrested for criminal mischief and criminal damaging. Police have been looking for a suspect after ring camera video showed a man dumping white paint in a bag of trash on the back porch of an apartment on Friday morning. Now, investigators say this uh, is an ongoing issue that started back in early August stemming from an encounter between a food delivery driver and the woman who lives in the apartment. The driver that was supposed to deliver her food was not actually the person who delivered it. So she filed a complaint with the company, and two days later, the trash started piling up on her back porch. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. You just never know one thing starts to trigger a whole right. slew of events. It's Sunday 95 Doppler 10 weather, a chance of morning showers and storms. Partly cloudy, hot, and humid, high 88 today. Sunny 95, Kemba Financial Credit Union, Time Saver Traffic. And we are accident-free so far. That's Time Saver Traffic on Sunny 95. And some relief for the dog days of... Dog... Hi. And coming up, some relief for the dog days of summer, at least when it comes to gas prices. We'll have that coming up on Sunny This Morning. Sunny This Morning on Sunny 95.